put in a great, I'm sure, personal sacrifice um, to submit the kinds of the kind of work that you submitted um, to the Siemens competition. It's my pleasure to introduce Ms. Lassa, who is the principal of Lexington High School, who will describe uh, your work. I don't understand it, um, <laughs> but those words are very impressive. And, um, and so with the description of uh, the work that you submitted and some kind words by uh, people who care about you and are very proud about your accomplishments, um, they'll speak soon after. And so be prepared right now for some accolades. As best I did to memorize the names of these projects tonight, I am going to have to read directly from the paper. Um, and it was kind of humorous when I went to congratulate both Noah and Armand when they um, were semi-finalists to say best of luck to them. Um, I remember going into Noah's um, homeroom, I believe it was, and I said, oh, you know, the project, da 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 Tell me a little bit about your project. And he gave me that look like, really? <laughs> really, Miss Lassa. And he started to explain. I think I glazed over in about 10 seconds, and I said, I I'm all set, Noah, thank you. So um, I think he knew. But um, it's really a great honor to be here tonight and to be in really kind of, to Dr. Ash's words, the face of greatness. To recognize two students who accomplished something that I never could have accomplished at their age um, and could not accomplish at my age today. It's what, what they've done is just phenomenal. Um, and I know it has come at a high cost for both of them in terms of um, these projects and trying to maintain their academics and I'm sure be a sibling and, and a, a son to their families as well. So, But thank you both for representing Lexington High School so well. So our junior award winner um, in the Siemens competition, which um, this year there were a total of 1,599 projects were submitted for consideration and only 12 named as national finalists. And both Armand Bilge and Noah Galowich um, received $50,000 scholarships in, in winning these awards. A piece. Um, <laughs> Noah, our junior, and his teammate Kavish Gandhi from Newton North High School submitted a project entitled Partition Regularity of Linear Homogeneous Equations and Inequalities. You can see when he tried to explain it to me. Um, but their collaboration significantly strengthens the current results in Ramsey theory, which is a field of mathematics that's centered on proving that patterns must emerge in a sufficiently large system. This research could have implications in theoretical computer science and future game theory. And in reading about Noah a little bit, he kind of got turned on to math and science when he joined, I believe, a math club in elementary school. And he has now gone on to be a captain of our math team at the high school. Um, and what I loved reading about Noah in the Siemens um, press releases was how much he enjoys the rigor of mathematics um, and at the same time the creativity that's required to really bring some of these ideas to life and trying to merge those, those two ideas. Um, Noah did not have a specific high school person who kind of fostered and mentored him through this process, but I do want to introduce uh, Mr. Kevin Kelly, who is the math department head, who is here tonight who actually had the pleasure of having both Noah and Armand in class. Um, and thank Mr. Kelly for his leadership as well um, with the math department. So even though he might not have had a direct hand in this, I think the quality of math instruction that Noah has been able to achieve in Lexington Public Schools overall um, speaks to your leadership, Kevin, and, and to others as well. Um, so Noah, without further ado, I'm going to turn this to you and say congratulations on behalf of Lexington High School and thank your parents for their time and diligence. And if there's anything you'd like to say. I'd like to thank Ms. Lassa and the school committee for inviting me here. Uh, I'd also like to thank especially Mr. Kelly for his excellent calculus class and for supporting all my math studies beyond that course. And uh, finally, even though I didn't have Dr. Offner uh, for my AP Bio teacher, I'd like to thank her for welcoming me into the Phylogenetics Club, which I enjoyed a lot. Uh, thank you. My man, Armand. Um, Armand's project was entitled Bayesian Reconstruction of Co-Evolutionary Histories, and that involves a novel methodology that promises to improve our understanding of disease transmission, such as influenza and HIV, as well as um, more knowledge about overall biodiversity. Um, the developed computer algorithm reconstructed the linked evolutionary histories of symbiotic organisms. Come on, how do you do? 
Okay. Um, Armand kind of got jazzed up about science at a really early age and combined this deep interest with his love of supercomputing. And he began this project's work while competing in his sophomore AP biology research project as a member of Dr. Sue Offner's phylogenetic tree club. Um, so I'd also like to recognize Dr. Sue Offner, who's here tonight, who does um, conduct a phylogenetic tree club. And thank her for um, her infectious um, love of biology um, that she exhibits in the classroom um, and also outside of that. I know, Sue, a lot of people have a deep respect for what she's, the kind of research she's having students accomplish outside of the classroom. So this is not her first rodeo dance, I think, to a Siemens, <coughs> supporting a Siemens Award winner. Um, Arm inspires to go on to be a professor, um, an investigator of computational evolutionary biology group. So Armand, without further ado, on behalf of the high school, unbelievably proud of you, and thank you. And if you'd like to say a few words, congratulations. So again, thanks, um, thanks to everyone. Um, Ms. Lawson for introducing me and for, um, to the committee for inviting me here. Um, I especially want to say a few words about Dr. Offner um, because of her involvement um, in, this, in my work, in my project, and bringing me here. Um, it was Dr. Avner who introduced me to my field of research, which is assembling the tree of life. We call it phylogenetics. Um, this is the phylogenetic tree club we talked about. So she showed me the field, and she got me excited about it. Every day she'd come into class. She said, what did you do last night? She wanted to know what I was doing. She wanted to know what I was doing. My research was meaningful. I was, I, I was doing something special. I was doing, I was making progress. And then she also introduced me to what culminated in being my project. Um, she, she showed me this interesting problem, these plants and these insects. She said, how, how have these organisms evolved together if they're in a pollination relationship, they're working together? And so then this is how I got started on coevolution. How do organisms evolve together? And then I ended up making my own tool to analyze these sort of systems. So Dr. Altner introduced me to um, the project idea as well. And finally, sort of the funniest one, I could say most opportunistic, is um, my mentors, uh, my other mentors for this project were at MIT. But the reason I became connected to them was because of Dr. Offner. Um, she connected me actually with a Harvard professor, um, a deep sea biology lab. Um, she had met him at a lecture and she saw an opportunity for a high school student interested in computational research to become involved. So it's actually because of the connection she made to him that got me started. And from there, the graduate student I work with connected me with a bioinformatics hackathon, which then connected me to a postdoc at the Broad Institute who connected me to the students at MIT. So it was a long so, But I started with Dr. Offner. Dr. Offner made, um, made that possible. She made that initial connection. So I want to make a big thanks to her. She, 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 she played three very big roles in this project. Well, thank you, Marvin. You've done wonderful work. <laughs> clearly is an amazing accomplishment for each of you. And I guess there are two thoughts about those accomplishments that come to mind. One is, we've just heard some vocabulary that many of us don't understand. I'd like to introduce another word that some of us will understand, but not all. The word is quell. Uh, it's a Yiddish word for, it, it kind of incorporates pride, but it's kind of swelling with pride in the accomplishments of um, somebody we care about. So it's a caring swelling, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I think we're all, we're all quelling here this evening in, in your accomplishments. Uh, the related thought is the sort of private-public partnership that, this, that your honor represents, because clearly this is a stellar accomplishment for each of you, and uh, we absolutely don't want to and couldn't take anything away from that, those individual accomplishments. And yet you know as well as anybody, and you both acknowledge this in your remarks, that you didn't do this alone. And uh, you had the incredible loving support of your family uh, and uh, a staff and faculty and administration in the Lexington Public School Systems system um, that makes us all proud. Uh, so your accomplishment represents the wisdom um, of taxpayers in this community in investing in the way that we do in our in our public school system. So, thank you for representing the best that we have to offer, um, the best that we can do, and the best that you can do 
and with that I will just, I won't even read the words because you can read them later, but it's a lot of whereases and therefores, but <laughs> <laughs> Noah thank and Armand, on behalf of the House of Representatives, thank you for your uh, outstanding example for all of us. First, uh, Jay covers most of it, but I think the most important thing is we, one of the most important debates we have uh, throughout the year when we do the budget is debate, debate on, on funding education. And it makes it easy representing, for me, in that debate, representing Lexington, because you always have some of the finest students in the state. When you look at any, everything from grade schools on up on the MCAS scores, and I'm not surprised to be here tonight to have two of the semifinalists in the country from Lexington. So you make our job easier to funding for educate making that argument for funding for education and you make it easier for everyone. We're so proud of the accomplishments that you have had and, and again as Jay said, uh, thank you to the family for all the work and, and everything you've done. So once again you make us proud. I'll just uh, say very briefly and this is to know about uh, Senator Barrett's going to be doing one and I'll be doing one for Noah Golovich on your finishing second in the individual category of the National Siemens Competition in Math, Science, and Technology. Congratulations, signed by Senator Ken Dolan. Thanks, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I was struck uh, in listening uh, to Armand and Noah by how gracious and generous they were and are toward folks who have extended a helping hand. And uh, I guess this is a, primarily a compliment to them, but also to their parents, that they've obviously raised uh, and are raising uh, men who are, who are sensitive about other people and uh, very generous in recognizing them. I'd like to make a request uh, just before I present this to Armand, and that's that they come back to Lexington from time to time over the course of what I know are going to be adventurous careers to inspire other young kids to, mm -hmm. to pass it forward. I, I sense that you would be inclined to want to do that and the kids need to hear from you how exciting academics can be and how exciting science and math can be. So please come back and keep us posted on your adventures. And I would, I would kill to have your academic achievements. I would also kill to have had your beard in high school. <laughs> <laughs> so on many, many levels, we're here to honor you. Uh, I want to join uh, Senator Donnelly, uh, actually represents both of you. All the smart kids are in his district. No, no, I've got a few. I've got a few. But, uh, but he, he, too, is gracious and uh, asked me to present the award to you. Uh, and I want to compliment you for your national renown and national achievement. And uh, don't forget us as you go forward and have a lot of fun in life. Thank you. Emma. Um, I just, I know you have an agenda on, um, and I'm truly here because I am the youngest of the group that's just spoken, so I want to make sure I get that on the record and on TV. Um, but I wanted to acknowledge, I did not see her come in, but Dr. Jackie Crow, who is the science department head, who is also here with us this evening, and although she is a physicist by nature, again, thank her for her leadership that she's taken as a member of the physics department and now as the science department head um, for the support, whether it's through the science fair, um, her leadership on technology innovation in the classroom, um, but I didn't see her come in early. I wanted to make sure I acknowledge her and thank her for being here. Thank you, Jackie.